Hi everyone, welcome to another Python GIS tutorial. Today we're going to work with rasters and we're going to learn how we can change raster values. Okay, so before we get started on this, just a quick reminder, if you haven't filled out the poll on the YouTube channel, go to the Open Source Options channel, go to the Community tab, and fill out the poll that asks about which kind of videos you'd like me to keep working on. Um, this just gives me an idea to, a way to cater the content to the things that you guys are looking for. So fill that out and I'll work on making content related to the survey results. Okay, so let's get started on today's video. So first I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna open up my Python console. Um, if you remember, if you've watched the video, um, we created a raster a couple videos ago. We're going to do the same thing today, but this time we're going to use that cleated raster and we're going to change values in it. So let's just go ahead and uh, create a new script. And in this script, we are going to um, start by importing GDAL, and then we'll go about the process of making a new, uh, a new raster. So we're going to create a file name for this new raster, and we'll put this in C, uh, temp, and we'll call this uh, our test raster. And we'll make it a TIFF, and then we'll make a template. So we're going to have this template file just so we can uh, copy some projections and and cell sizes and things like that. Okay, so we're going to do C temp elevation is in my net 10 meter TIFF file. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll create the new raster. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a driver, a TIFF driver equals gdal dot get driver by name. And we're going to do gtiff, and then we'll do driver tiff create. Okay. Oh, and one thing we need to do before this, we actually need to open the template file and uh, so we can get the information from it. So gdal open fn template. I'm going faster through this because I have this all in previous videos, so if you're not sure how to do this or aren't keeping up, go check those other videos out. Okay, so now we want to create a file, and we want to create the file fn. We want to go x size is going to equal uh, ds temp raster x size and then we're going to create a new line and y size equals ds temp raster y size okay and then let's just go back and make sure we get this right with the last one so here's where we created all we need bands and a data type Okay, so let's go bands equals one, e type equals gdal dot gdt float 32. Okay, and that should give us our new raster. And uh, we're going to name this ds data set, raster data set. And then we need to go um, ds.setgeotransform, and this will be uh, dstemp.getgeotransform, and ds.setprojection, and this will be dstemp.getprojection. Okay, and so that should give us um, 
our new raster. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't want to make this the exact same size. This is going to be a pretty big raster. We're just going to keep this small, and we're going to make this size 10 um, by 10. So it's going to be 10 cells by 10 cells. Okay, but we're going to put it in the same location as this, so we'll have the same upper left corner as this raster. Uh, and we'll have the same cell size as that raster in the same projection. So we'll line up with this one on the upper left corner, but it won't be the, the full extent. Okay, so we've got that now. So let's go close the raster, so ds equals none. And then let's add this to QGIS. So we'll do iface um, dot add raster layer fn. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this and make sure things turned out like we expected. So run open, I have an error over here. Let's see what we got. 912 E type. Oh, I didn't put a comma after bands. Let's go ahead and click run. Okay, there we go. So there's our test raster over there. I'm gonna close this. Um, you can see that it lines up right there. So let's just zoom to the layer here, uh, boom. Okay, you can see that there's no data, so this is a, a no data cell for our, our template raster, and we line up this raster with a bunch of zero values. Okay, all right, and we can open this up. We can just double check things. We have 10 by 10, we have that same corner extent, and we have a 10 by 10 pixel size. Good deal. We've got our raster created. Let's um, open that Python console back up. Now what we want to do is we want to change some values in here. I just want to change one value and make it 100 or something. Okay. So we've got this data source. And if you remember um, in a couple of videos ago, we, we wrote this code, which is how to read a raster band. And so what we're going to do is we're going to read this band as a NumPy array, and then we're going to just change the values in it. Okay, so let's go back here, and so uh, we're going to make a variable. It's going to be a NumPy array. This is going to be band one equals ds dot get raster band one dot read as array. So this will read the whole thing in as an array. Let's just make some notes here. Read raster band as an array. Let's go uh, open template raster. Git driver. Create data set. Okay. Okay, so now that we've read that raster, I can go in and I can do band one and I can select a row and a column. So let's like select the first value. So zero, zero. And uh, I'm going to come in here and let's just comment this line out for now. Let's remove this from here. And what I'm going to do is let's just go ahead and print this. And then you can see it should print out a zero, right? So what I'm doing here is this first set of square brackets indicates the row of the NumPy array, and the second set indicates the column of the NumPy array. So I start at zero, zero is going to be the first row, first column, and let's go ahead and click run. It should print out a zero right there, zero, zero. All right, simple enough. So, now let's say I want to change that value. The way I do that is I go band 0, 0 uh, equals 100.0. Okay. And now I'm going to add this back in. And what you should see is that top left corner, row 0, column 0, should now have a value of 100. Actually, it won't. I just changed that band. Sorry. We have to take one more step here. So I've changed the value of that band. So let's do this. Let's go print band 00. 
and then we'll come down here and we'll print band zero zero. Okay. And that's gonna should print out zero, then it should print out one hundred, and we'll see that print out over here. I'm gonna go ahead and comment this line back out so we don't add the raster yet. Oh, we have an error here. Oh, sorry, band one. This should be band one, not band. Giving you some false information. Sorry about that. Let's click run. Okay, so there it is, zero, and now the band value is 100. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these print statements. Okay, so now what we want is we want to write this band back to the raster. So we go to ds.get raster band one dot write array band one. Now that's going to write band one, this here, to the array. We've just changed a value. So instead of having a zero in that top left corner, it will have 100 in the top left corner. And then we're going to, to close the data set, and then we'll add it to QGIS, and we should see a little change here. Let's go ahead and click run. Okay. So I'm going to close this so we can see things better. And you can see immediately that now I have a different shape here. And if I hover over that, look over here, this is the test raster. This is the value tool I'm using. You can see as a value of 100, there's a value of zero. And so we've successfully changed that raster value. All right, so now um, let's pull our plugins back up and go to the Python console. And let's just change a normal. Let's change one close to the middle. So let's change band one, um, Five, five, oh, five, five, and let's make this equal 50, and that will be a different color, and we'll just make another change here, so let's do band one, um, we'll do the first row, second column, equals 10, and then let's change another one, so we'll do band one, the first row, first, or the second row, first column, uh, also equals 10. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna get some, let's make that actually equal like 25. So we get some different colors in there, all right? Uh, let's go ahead and remove this so we don't get confused about what's what. And then let's go ahead and click Run. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. And there you can see, we now have some different values. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll just change a couple more values and then we'll call it good for this tutorial. So if I close it again, so let's go to plugins, our Python console, and let's make something um, band, band one, and let's do seven four equals 75.0 and band one um, let's go through three nine so because I only have ten columns or rows nine is going to be the maximum number make that 100 and let's go like that we'll run that thing let's see where we get to we'll remove this guy okay run and there you go you can see we've got some values changed in there so there you go guys thanks for watching as always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Suggestions, leave them in the comments or contact me directly, whatever you want to do. Um, and don't forget to fill out that survey if you want to um, on the Open Source Options community page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.